All right. Hi guys, welcome back for the global lab update. I apologize, this one is not live because I'm working on the tournament production. Uh, but let's see what we're gonna get on the global labs this week. Uh, bartering improvements. Bartering is another field of life skills that have come that has come to adventurers with the opening of the ocean age in 2019. Even today, there are many adventurers who continue to love the ocean and black desert, like the captains of the barrel dancing Marlin bar. Okay. It is the dream of many adventurers to cruise the vast ocean on a large ship, but currently the process of building a sailboat and going through several large ships can be somewhat burdensome. So today's update allows more adventurers to explore the ocean. We have a race the bartering. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we just erased bartering. It was a simple solution. It's translated for sure. Uh, we have eased the bartering. Whew. We have eased the bartering quest process and item acquisition process so that you can sail the seas with the countless captains. Um, representative updates. Uh, yeah, representative updates include shortening the wait time for barter renewal, expanding opportunities to acquire expansion material items, easing and simplifying quest goals, and easing the burden of land materials. I hope this will be an opportunity for adventurers who have dreamed of exploring the ocean to make their dreams come true. We hope the captains are doing great work across the ocean, and we will be able to enjoy a more convenient and enjoyable voyage with them. Okay, so the barter cooldown is being reduced. That's actually kind of huge. After updating the barter list, it's time to, um, the time required to update new barter items has been reduced. Accordingly, the reduced, uh, Raven's trade guarantee. So that's the, that's probably the trade, uh, item refresh, like the, the boat item refresh, probably, which can increase parley, uh, has been reduced. Oh, that's okay. So they're talking about like the, if you use a loot scroll to increase your parlay, which you can do by like manufacturing your loot scrolls or something. Um, it's like manufacturing or simple alchemy. It's one of those. Um, after updating the barter list, the cooldown time to update the list again is adjusted from four hours to two hours. Okay. That's really good. That's much better because you can actually use parlay guys to even to like reduce the cooldown even more. So like if you only want to do a few barters and like bang that out and like just get a bunch of crow coins and then just refresh again, you can basically just use all the remaining parlay and just like reduce that time. You should be able to reduce that time to almost zero. Um, and that's why that's like actually really significant. Uh, also it's probably going to take you like, you know, an hour to get your barters done for that, um, for that particular, uh, refresh anyway. So yeah, th this is like the loot scroll thing. You can turn your loot scrolls into barter, uh, like cray crowed, it's like crow merchant vouchers. Uh, I believe, um, it looks like bargaining par parlay can be quickly restored with the Voucher, you get 250,000. Okay, yeah, you get 250,000 parlay, but now it's you can do it every two hours instead of four. People didn't really do this very often, but like if you're really hardcore bartering, this is what you're using your loot scrolls on. You know what I mean? Uh, material refresh, renewal points, number of exchanges. So this is the boat material refreshes, it looks like. And material refresh, which is used to help ship expansion materials, the cons uh, consumption points have been reduced. Additionally, the number of exchanges for each item on each island has been increased, allowing for more material items to be acquired with less burden. Oh, that's so much better. It makes it so much easier to get your Carrick. Bro, before you had to do so many ship material refreshes. These guys, every single time you do a ship material refresh, there are two types of barter refreshes. Like, there's like the normal, like, item material refresh, right? And then there's a the ship material refresh. This, this one's the money one. This one's the ship one, like, like that. This is how you get your ship like upgraded, right? So like you used to have to do one or two of those, the ship ones a day. And if you're doing the ship material refreshes, you can't do the item ones. So you just, you're losing money. Um, the already small amount of money you're making, you're losing a mass amount of money to do these ship material refreshes. And then you would only get like two or three items you needed for your boat. It's really miserable. It just didn't feel good. This is much better. In material exchange, the number of exchanges for the items below, which could be performed each once, have been increased to two. Uh, however, there will be no change in the case of trade routes uh, that allowed for the uh, exchange more than twice. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, most importantly here, I'm seeing like the T10 math, or I mean the T10 math, uh, the brilliant maths. Uh, these are the tougher things to get, um, and you can get two of them now instead of one per refresh, which is big because now it's half the number of refreshes that you have to do uh, in order to actually get your Carrick. This, this is amazing. Uh, solar black stones, that's actually really big, or the sunset black stones are big for the people enhancing their blue gear as well. Um, so the number of exchanges the for the sailboard expansion material items can be obtained in the exchange goods is also increased for the reducing the expansion. Okay. The number of exchanges uh, for the items below in barter exchange has been increased as follows. Okay. The dark iron, brilliant pearl, rock salt ingots. Okay. So yeah, we just talked about this. Um, this is on normal refreshes, guys. Because like after a while, if you get... Like initially, you can only get these brilliant maths. They look like this. There's also like brilliant rock salt ingots that, that look like orange ingots. Um, but um, you can only get those on like the, the ship material refreshes. But after a while, if you do enough barters, you can actually get them on your normal refreshes. So you don't actually have to ship material refresh for that. And they lowered the overall barter count that that's required for that to like, I don't know, like 1200 or something like that, uh, which is big or like 1500 somewhere in there. Um, which is big because now like they're going to allow you to get two per your normal refreshes. So if you have all your other stuff done and you're just trying to get brilliant, re uh, brilliant mats, now you don't have to do item like the ship material refreshes, uh, in order to pound out those, uh, brilliant mats, which is really good. Pro coin shop for each expansion material show sold in the shop. Adventurers who want to proceed with expansion more quickly. The purchase has been lowered to make it more attractive option than before. Really? Oh. Wow. So they're... Oh my gosh. This is actually a very significant change. Like, like, Crow Coins... Wow, wait. Okay, so let's look at the, um... The combat. This is the big one right here. The combat seals, like the Cox combat seals, are usually, like, one of the limiting factors for getting your Carrick. And like 800 like crow coins was just not worth it. Like you, you could do a daily every day to get like two, it was like two or three a day. Ah, dude, it just took forever. You just need so many. But like if it's only 150 crow coins, you can kind of just crow coin out the last few ones that you need and get your Carrick like a number of days earlier. Also, the tier of the ocean only being 500 is very good because you can only get one of those a day. But like if you really wanted to crank out your crow coins for it, um, it's way easier. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Like, this really dramatically decreases the amount of time needed for your Carrick. This is a big W. Uh, nobody's going to use the seaweed stock or, stock or anything like that. No one's going to do the brilliance, um, stuff like this. Again, the big limiting factor, especially for, like, the Volante and the Valor, is the combat seals uh, in most cases, uh, or even the Tier of the Ocean. I believe you need 42 uh, of those. Um, the con stuff, nobody's going to nobody's gonna do that. Just do con the three times and you're done, basically. Um, kill young sea monsters. A new weekly quest has been added to Akia's eye. Okay, kill 20 juvenile sea urchins. I guess this means sea monsters. This is translated. So this is probably kill 20 young sea monsters. What do you get? Oh my god, and you're gonna get more combat seals? This is so good! That is so, so good. You could get so many more. We have so much more room for activities. Um, if you don't like boat stuff, yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, but you skip this anyway. This is big because, again, that's the limiting factor. So, like, yeah, you can get them with crow coins. But, like, now you can get, like, five a day. This is nuts. That's really good. You got to kill 20 young sea monsters, though. All right. Well, actually, no, no, no. Okay. This is not as big. It's a weekly. It's a weekly. Okay, that's not as big. You got to kill 20 young sea monsters, which I recommend just taking it at the start of the week. And then just, like, as you're doing your dailies, just kill all the youngs you see. Don't just go out and do this solo. Just kind of do it over the course of the week as you're doing your dailies uh, and you'll get two extra combat seals. That's actually not that big of a deal. You only get two. But like the fact that those are much cheaper in the crow coin shop, that is significant. Combine three types of daily quests to kill your young sea monsters. Depending on the type of monster slain, the three types of monster quests from each expansion material item can be obtained or combined into one type of quest. Oh, so that it used to be like kill a young Hikaru, kill a young Ocean Stalker, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now it looks like it's just kill five young sea monsters, which is good because like the young sea monsters are really easy to find. 
Uh, yeah, and you're just getting. Oh, yeah, and you get you get the same kind of stuff that we were getting before. Okay, so they're just simplifying it. That's good. That's good. Colony of the young sea monsters. Nero Kia's eye, young marine monsters swam down to an unfamiliar currents of Margoria. On unfamiliar currents of Margoria, those who have not yet fully grown, li um, grown live in groups. Okay. Okay, yeah, so they're just get, like adding more young sea monsters north of Okia's eye to make the dailies like way easier. Reduce the weekly quest goal for killing sea monsters. Uh, now you only have to kill one of the Candidams, uh, the Nine Sharks, and the uh, the Black Rust, it looks like. That's good. That's really good. Increase rewards to acquire expansion materials. Oh my gosh, you're even getting more stuff on the dailies. This isn't, someone have to make a new boat guide. Oh my goodness, guys. Um, so yeah, you're getting more on every daily. You're just going to get more of everything. This looks like it's overall reducing. Wow. Added an optional reward, two tiers of the ocean. Yeah. So like, it looks like they're bringing down the amount of dailies you need to you can probably get your Carrick with this and like using your crow coins and stuff. I would argue that you could probably get your Carrick in like 20 days, 25 days. Maybe it used to be like 45 days. It's probably like 25 days now, guys, because you're getting more daily stuff. Um, it's really, where's the combat? Mm, it's going to come down to the combat like artifacts and whether or not you want to spend crow coins on them. But like you could theoretically do it. Uh, way, way faster now. Exchange ship equipment enhancement items. Okay, Ch exchange tier 3 goods for 4 Lunar Blackstones and 2 Lunar Blackstones instead of 2 and 1. Okay, this is good because these are the things that are used to enhance your boat gear when you're like a Caraval or a, um, like all of those, um, like the Fiery Blackstones and stuff because that's what, um, that's what these actually are. The Fiery and the, the Frosted Blackstones, I'm pretty sure is what these actually are. Um, yeah, like those are the things that you use to enhance the gear for the Caraval and the, um, the Gallius. So you're going to get more of those on exchange. Sweet. Clicking the button will take you to the adventures guide, building a Carapace page. Okay. That's, or building a, I guess a, a Carrick page. Um, land materials to tier one goods. Okay. Barter signed contracts to exchange trade goods uh, for new land items and announced some trade goods that would no longer be exchanged. Added trade items. This is bad. Clear liquid reagent is stupid. Better of time. Uh, that looks like powder of earth. So all of the powders, it looks like. Tiger meat? I didn't even know tiger meat was a thing. Uh, cinnamon. No one is going to do cinnamon. Cinnamon is a crazy essential ingredient for the carrot confit. Um... That's one of the cinnamon in node is one of the best nodes in the game because you're either selling the material or you're using it for carrot confit to do your uh, T10 weekly every week. Uh, date palm wine and fig. Fig fig and date palm are also kind of expensive, but like it depends on like the amount that you need for this T1 barter, but we'll see. Uh, looks like they reduced the amount required on these other barters. Um, yeah, like massive reduction in the amount per barter. So like the T1 barters don't cost anything, guys. This is really big. This is this is so important, especially for like trying to get into bartering. Like that, like the barrier to entry is so much lower. It's so good. Um, trade goods removed. Blackstone weapon, blackstone armor, dragon scale fossil, encroached breath, and tyrant's blood. That's amazing because no one wanted to do those anyway because they're not efficient. Um, okay, that's amazing. Uh. Okay, yeah, they also changed the barter support boxes to be like in line with the with the new changes. Cooking and alchemy improvements, more life skilling stuff. During production activities through cooking and alchemy, if you confuse uh the ingredients or accidentally put in the excessive amount of ingredients, you would end up in trouble as all the ingredients would be used up. Now the mistakes will be improved so that the ingredients you put in are not consumed. Well, that's good. All right, that, that's a W, right? Like, because how many of us have put in the wrong, like, alchemy recipe? And you're like, wait, no. And then it just, boom. There, there goes all your stuff. You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, it's frustrating. Um, So that's good. It's a W change. W change. Uh, horse capturing minigame improvements to enable you to capture the horses more quickly. The minigame duration has been shortened from 11 to 6 seconds. Oh, my gosh, bro. I never thought I'd see the day. Like, it usually, so I think what they realized is that people like me 
were literally just waiting until like the three second mark and we would just not hit the space bar at all we'd wait till like the three second mark and then hit the space bar like four times get it over the barn and, and just go so this is a big change this is w honestly the biggest change to the horse mini game was when they made it it used to be a crazy mini game guys like you could spam space bar as hard as you could people used to bind space bar to their mouse wheel that's how hard you it for two patches it bugged out and you literally just couldn't do it because it was that hard. <laughs> Any horse trainers like they're watching this, like they know, bro. They know it was really bad. Like you had to put it on your mouse wheel. You still couldn't get it done. It was crazy. Blackstone simplification in today's update is previously announced. The simplification of Blackstone items has been carried out. Uh, this is the task to integrate Blackstones, which were separate according to the type of weapon and armor so that they're used. Okay, so now there's going to be no Blackstones on the central market uh, because everyone needs their... Everyone needs their, um, their Jatina. Um, yeah, so they're just talking about the simplification stuff. So all of the Blackstones guys are being simplified into one thing. Uh, it looks like exchanged unused items. Exchange items through the Black Spirit. One hard acquired items, one sharp. Oh, so you can exchange your old now... Yeah, you can't use like Blackstone armors anymore, so it looks like you can just exchange them through the Black Spirit. Which is kind of lazy because they could have just converted all this stuff for us, but they didn't want to do the work, so now we got to do it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you're going to get the new items. So everything's being converted over. Um, I would not sell your Blackstones, guys, like if I'm being honest. Like... You're not going to be able to get them. And like, even if you don't need them for your Jatina pen, like you still need them for like fail stacks and stuff. So like, if you're finding yourself like running out of fail stacks, you're not going to be able to make fail stacks because you can't get any black stones off the market. There's like 4 million. Oh, there's a lot of pre-orders. Maybe not 4 million. There's a lot of pre-orders on weapons. Even if you convert all the armors to weapons, there's still pre-orders on weapons. So like, we'll see. Supply and demand will eventually level out on this. Uh, and there will be black stones on the market. But like right now, uh, as of the making of this video, Ah, it's going to be a little rough. Um, armor plus six to plus seven enhancement probability. As all armor items can be enhanced to Blackstone armor and weapons, the upper price limit has been changed to match the item. Okay, so they're they're changing the... Oh, wow. Oh. It looks like armor can now be enhanced to plus seven with 100% chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they're combining blast stones, they're gonna make it so that your like your armors can go to plus seven at a hundred percent chance. That's an interesting change. It doesn't really change very much, but like, okay, sure. All right. Uh change due to unused items. Items such as blackstone armor, shard black hard black crystal shard, concentrated magical blackstone armor are no longer used. Any strangers can be used. No, okay. Due to the central market maintenance on the official server on Friday, March twenty second. The waiting or purchase or sale for the following items was canceled. Okay, so they're taking down all of the like central market, like Blackstone pre-orders and stuff. They're giving everyone their stuff back. Okay, it makes sense. Uh, item crafting method change. The Blackstone type to use in the crafting formula was changed as follows. Okay, so they're just making it the new blackstone okay so it's not really changed they're just again they're simplifying blackstones guys everything will be one thing um and nothing really costs less monster zone changes round sulfur mine decky is lantern the following changes have been made uh the ejector no longer appears but I, so they're uh yeah okay so they're just making some decky changes to like the the round sulfur mine uh before it actually launches to live servers which is good that means they're looking at feedback um, uh, Black Shrine during the battle Bamboo Leaf Commander okay that's the Bamboo guy uh, if you leave the battle too often the issue where the Bamboo Leaf Commander uh, health is restored and returns to the original position has been fixed okay the following monsters at Giffen Raza Underground have been improved to become more natural Giffen Raza Crusher, Giffen Raza Watcher I don't know what that means and Giffen Raza Butcher okay alright more natural interesting all right, quest changes. The 
completion conditions for Carolyn's packaging for cooking and alchemy has changed. So now instead of showing her 500 Imperial seals, all you have to do is show her 100 witches delicacies or unknown catalysts. Okay, W change. Sure. Sure. Um, this is just random quest stuff. UI improvements. The old menu, which is maintained about seven years, the new menu was updated in September 2017, is scheduled for to end after regular maintenance on Wednesday, April 24th, about a month later. They're taking away the old UI. Players are going to be pissed. There are adventurers who continue to use the old mesh menu to this day and were unable to support the various due to new, like various newly added contents. They're actually taking away the old UI, guys. You guys are going to be pissed in the comments. Oh, man, you guys are going to be so mad. I would say about 50% of players use the old UI stuff. Maybe, maybe 30%. But like, usually, like, OG veterans, even some new players find the, the old UI easier to use than the new one. And they're like, stop using the old UI. Use the new one so we don't have to update the old one. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so yeah, that's gone. Yeah, they're going to take out the old UI, guys. That's, uh... That sucks. Um, some quality of life changes, it looks like. Yeah, quality of life changes for some more of the roses. Bug fixes for some stuff. Um... Uh, the issue where the ego of Megu Prime Fox Spirit Deceiver skill was not summoned under the circumstance certain circumstances while on board a ship has been fixed. Okay. Okay, class changes. Oh, there are some class changes. Uh Lon. Oh, these are just issues. They're just fixing bugs with Lon and Sork and Drat. Oh, wait, Drat. Yeah, so they're just fixing some bugs with Lon, Sork, and Drac. Okay. All right, and that looks like the end of the Global Labs for the week, guys. Honestly, the UI being stripped from the game and then the Black... Obviously, Blackstone's being combined uh, is kind of a big deal. Um, and then the bartering changes are actually super huge. Um, I actually don't think it means anything, really, for endgame barterers, but, like, for people getting into bartering and trying to make their Carrick, these are big, big quality of life changes. I probably will have to update my new... My, my boat guide, guys, um, in the next, like, couple of weeks here, uh, and I'll try to update it for everybody so that it's... Uh, everybody's getting up-to-date information and everything but yeah guys that's the global app changes thanks so much for tuning in like subscribe i love you guys i'll see you in the next one